Gilda Fano, Ko Charlene Toku Ingoa. Um, back again, as you guys all know, um, I've currently completed a online application for a scholarship through um, Te Fare Huka Huka. And part of that process, Fano, is that all applicants need to complete five comfort challenges. So you guys would have seen Fano um, the past few days. I've been putting up um, challenges, which you guys will see on my Facebook. I hope you guys have found um, comfort or encouragement in those videos. Um, but as of today, Fano, I am now on comfort challenge number four. And this comfort challenge, Fano, is all about saying no. Um, it's titled, this comfort challenge is titled The Terrible Twos. And the reason it's uh, titled Terrible Twos is because we all know that our pepe um, have no filters and it's very easy for them to say no. However, for an adult, um, it's not so easy to say no. So that's been my little challenge, Fano. the past two days is learning to say no. Now this for me has been extremely difficult. Um, but I do want to share an experience with you, Fano, that I had a few years ago. So um, I was not aware that this was going to be part of our comfort challenge. Um, to apply for the scholarship and when it came up and I read what we had to do I thought straight back to a scenario that I had um, whilst working in the community. So for about uh, five years whānau I've worked in our community and having the ngāko that a lot of us have, having the heart that a lot of us have, we struggle and this was my biggest struggle at work was learning how to say no and it got to a point where I was at Mahi for three years um, I worked with Fano in our community and as we do we do our best to afi wherever we can even if that means creating a busy schedule for ourselves um, so as I went on three years into Mahi Fano, every time someone needed help I would always respond with a yes now, during that process, Fano, and I guess um, not even being aware of my decisions, every time I said yes, I started to create a big kind of to-do list for myself. And innocently, and not even realizing what I was doing, every yes that I had given to Fano, uh, to community families um, that needed athi every time I said yes what that was doing Fano was creating a bigger and bigger to-do list for myself um and it wasn't until my boss had pulled me into the office and he said hey Sha you know I've just noticed something like you're you're pretty full-on um you're always working and I've picked up what it is uh you struggle to say no and it wasn't until he brought it up, Fano, that I started to realise, actually, yeah, you are 100% right. Um, and I just also want to share, Fano, that sometimes our biggest passion, if we don't know how to use it correctly, um, can also be one of the biggest things to take us down or make us tired, especially if we're trying to do it in our own strength. So... Yeah, this was something that I had to work on three years ago, Fano. Um, learning to say no uh, for me has always been difficult. Um, if a Fano's in need, I've always just been one to just jump at it without even thinking, um, yes, I'll help you. So this challenge for me has personally been... Um, a big challenge and I think for a lot of us Fano, this is a big challenge um, saying no full stop having no explanation is something that we don't naturally do um, I believe that going through te kaho te ao, 
Um, I believe that if this door opens up for me, if I'm granted the scholarship, uh, personally for me, I believe that this is an area that they can affi me with. Um, I also believe that this is an area that all business owners need to have a strong mindset in. Um, there's going to be a lot of times where we're going to come across um, situations within our business uh, where we're going to have to say that hard word, no. Um, so this is something I definitely need to strengthen on. Um, I know personally for myself, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever had to deal with in life is saying something like a simple no. So I've been practicing it, um, not only the past few days, but as shared in my past experience at Mahi, that for me was very challenging. Um, and as time went on, I found the, the more I said no, um, the easier it become. So yeah, I'm just going to keep practicing that. Um, just want to do a massive shout out to Sissy Tans for encouraging me to do this scholarship. Um, if the door opens, I'm going to take it. So that's Comfort Challenge 4 done. I have one more to go. Comfort Challenge number 5, I'm coming at you today. Kaki te whanau, kia pai tōra.